My name is Melina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my visit to the world's oldest bookstore. I mean, how cool is that? It, it's in uh, Lisbon, Portugal. I was just in Portugal for about 10 days with my husband for our honeymoon. So, of course, we got to stop in some bookstores. And it was founded in the 1700s. I'll put the exact year here. But it is has the Guinness Book World Records like seal. It's legit. It is the world's oldest operating bookstore. And I find that so cool. It's so cool. And I think I believe it's in its second location because of an earthquake, but it's still the same establishment. So it was beautiful. The main area was beautiful enough. And then you walk through and you're like, oh, it, there's more. And it kind of has these little tunnels in different rooms. Um, Hard to describe, but you can see it, so that's what it looks like. And at the end of these tunnels is this beautiful, beautiful cafe. And I just thought that was so much fun that you could, you know, buy a book and then have a coffee or a hot chocolate or whatever floats your boat and just enjoy. And there was so many people around us that were, you could tell that they loved books like I love books because this wasn't something super touristy like um, the first bookstore that we went to. This was a regular bookshop, except with a super cool history. And so I feel like the people there were genuine book lovers who just enjoyed literature. And it was probably one of the coolest stops for me. So, of course, I had to get a book. I mean, come on. So, I actually ended up getting two books because I pretended like one was for my husband. But the book that I got for myself is The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna. Um, it has Agatha Christie up here, and I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. It says the brand new Hercule Poirot, I'm terrible at words, mystery. Um, I'm guessing it's like a continuation of an Agatha Christie type world or mystery. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited about it because I've read some Agatha Christie books growing up, but it's been a while. And I was just in the mood. I find it very aesthetically pleasing. It has some like nice texture to it, and I just... I'm really excited for it. So hopefully you'll be seeing a wrap up. I think this is going to be the next book that I read. Oh, and I got a cool bookmark of the Bellum Tower, which is in Lisbon, to go in it. Then my husband, aka also me, got this beautiful copy of the picture of Dorian Gray. I mean, look at that. Right? Right? And it has like a like a soft feel. Not quite felt, but soft, and then it has gold foil, and it's just so beautiful. And then on the inside, it's even prettier. And so, I am a sucker for beautiful books. I mean, come on. Come on, right? And I'm a sucker for beautiful books. I'm a sucker for this story. It was one that I read when I was probably too young to read it, but I've read it several times since. And so, it's something that has a personal meaning for me. And I just, I think it's really cool. I just think it's so cool. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And I got it in the world's oldest bookstore. I mean, I just find that so neat. It was so much fun. And if you're ever in Lisbon, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a little tough to find, um, but we, we did manage to. I unfortunately couldn't get a nice shot of the outside because there was a homeless man sleeping there. But yeah, it's still totally worth it. And I felt like I could take my time, I felt like I could browse the books, and really felt like a more authentic bookstore experience than Liberia Lelo, which if you didn't see that, I'll leave a little card, I don't know what corner, I think it's there, um, with a link to that video, uh, where I kind of talk about my experience with that one. That's the bookstore that inspired Harry Potter, so if that's your kind of thing, I got to check that one out too, and I had an absolute blast on my honeymoon, and I've got plenty more book related videos coming your way so leave me a comment down below if you have a booktube channel i'd love to check it out and don't forget to subscribe like this video and i will see you guys next time bye